from the moment you first start using Premiere Elements, you'll see some big changes when you're stepping up from iMovie and iPhoto. To make the transition easier, the Elements team have included special functions like the ability to get photos and videos from iPhoto from inside the Organizer workspace. So here we just have to click OK and the organizer goes off and locates the files that are sitting in their iPhoto library and brings them into the catalog inside the organizer space of Premiere Elements. So this includes both images and also includes videos as well. To start off with we get an indication of the thumbnail for the video and then we'll get a thumbnail for the video itself. From this point, it's then a simple matter of just right clicking on any of these video files and going straight into the Edit with Premiere Elements Editor option. And here we are sitting with these two files inside the Premiere Elements workspace. Some of the key differences between working with iMovie and Premiere Elements are things like the ability to work across platforms. Remember, there are versions for Premiere Elements on both the Mac and the Windows platform, making it much easier to share your files and your projects. There's also up to 99 tracks available in the timeline. This allows for much more sophistication when you're working with quite complex projects. There's greater HD support, with the ability to import and work with AVC HD video. And there's tons more features and tools allowing you to employ more complex editing workflows and also providing you with extra advanced editing functions. And then if we move on to things like the options we have available for sharing, here we have the ability to output to Blu-ray and create AVC HD DVD discs, which are options not available in iMovie. So all of these features and functions provide you with extra abilities, which when you're stepping up from iMovie, allows you to be more creative and to bring more pizzazz to all of the movies that you produce.